Secretary of State John Kerry was in Saudi Arabia today on the 13th anniversary of the September 11th attacks, building regional support in the fight against ISIS and other forms of terrorism. There are those who think the Saudis are not the most ideal partners in such a fight. After all, 15 of the 19 September 11th hijackers came from Saudi Arabia, as did Al-Qaeda founder Osama bin Laden, who hails from a well-connected Saudi family, and a lawsuit from victims of the attacks and their families, now working its way through the court system, alleges that the hijackers received direct assistance from Saudi government officials in the United States. The plaintiffs are calling for the release of a classified report. As Al Jazeera reports, 28 pages from an official 2002 report detailing foreign government assistance to the September 11 attackers remains classified. In 2003, then, President George W. Bush, seen here holding hands with Saudi Crown Prince Abdullah in 2005 at his Texas ranch, explained why he would not release the pages. We have an ongoing war against Al Qaeda and terrorists. And the declassification of that part of a 900-page document would reveal sources and methods that will make it harder for us to win the war on terror. As a presidential candidate in 2003, John Kerry himself called for Bush to release the 28 pages in order to, quote, make the record clear. The Saudis have long maintained they, too, want the pages released. In 2003, their ambassador to the U.S. saying, quote, 28 blank-down pages are being used by some to malign our country and our people and that Saudi Arabia has nothing to hide. Now, two members of Congress, Democrat Stephen Lynch and Republican Walter Jones, who have read the 28 pages in question, have now introduced a resolution calling on President Obama to finally declassify them. Two family members of September 11th victims say the president promised them personally he would de declassify the 28 pages. But as of now, the pages remain classified. Today, National Security Council told All In that White House had requested that the Office of the Director of National Intelligence review the pages for possible declassification, and that review is ongoing. Joining me now, Congressman Walter Jones, Republican of North Carolina, Congressman Stephen Lynch, Democrat of Massachusetts. Congre Congressman Jones, what's the case here? Why does this matter? Well, you know, yesterday, uh, today actually is the 13th year since the tragedy that hit our country. And I think that the families who lost so much in the 9-11 attack have every right to see these 28 pages. And as you made mention in your, uh, in your presentation, that President Bush is the one that decided that this information should be classified. And Stephen Lynch and I, along with other colleagues, believe sincerely that the families and the American people need, need to know the truth as to what happened well, that day and what led up to that day. So, Congressman Lynch, do you believe that the reason it was classified in the, in the first place was to protect U.S. relationships with the Kingdom of Saudi, Saudi Arabia? Well, I, I think there were, there were uh, I think, reasons right after the attacks and right after the report came out that uh, I, I think people thought there might be uh, security implications and also uh, there was there was virulent uh, passion at that point. I think that the pre that President Bush might have been thinking about that. But what what you asked Walter, that's a great question. Why do we want these released? I agree with what, what my friend Walter Jones has has put out there about owing it to the families, owing it to the American people. But I actually think that an additional reason is that these 28 pages, in my opinion, would inform our anti-terrorism policy going forward. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be a good thing to have the American people understand the complexity, the, the months of planning uh, for these attacks, and, and the individuals who were, uh, you know, complicit well, in, in, in that activity. C Congressman Jones, there's a lot of discussion right now about funding, particularly for ISIS, and how it's getting money, and part of its oil, and part of its kidnaps, and kidnapping hostages, but there is concern about money flowing into them um, from private citizens in the, in the Gulf. Are you convinced that the Saudis or the Qataris are, uh, have safeguards in place to, to make sure that something like that couldn't happen again? Chris, again, I want to go back to this, these 28 pages. Our country is in deep trouble in many, many ways. There is nothing that can bring peace to the families who lost so much on 9-11, except for them, the families, and the American people to know the truth and to let the American people decide for themselves, once they see the 28 pages, then what should be the next action by our government?
And Congressman Lynch, are you are you persuaded? Or are you convinced by the by the White House's response? They have someone on this. They're reviewing it for for, for possible declassification. It's been a while, Chris. Uh, they they've had somebody looking at this before. Uh, the Bush administration had people looking at it. So uh, I I think that the the most important thing for members of Congress to do and, and people at home, encourage your member of Congress, your representative, to Absolutely. go and read the 28 pages. And then yep. I think after they read that, they will sign on so, to our resolution urging its declassification. Just, That's so, just so we're clear about this, this was, this was the joint, uh, the sort of special joint committee that was put together. This is not the 9-11 Commission. This That's was correct. issued in 2000, uh, 2002, it, if, if I'm not mistaken, it, right? That, that, it, that's it, correct, it, Chris. Yeah. And so this, any member of this, Congress can read it. Well, you have if, to get if permission. You, if, if you've Excuse got me. the proper uh, clearance, and I think most members either could get it or already have it, and then you've got to you've got to go to a a designated location, a secure location, and there'll be several uh, people there to observe you while you read the 28 pages. You're not allowed to. Well, bring any technology in you're not allowed to take any notes or anything like that well i gotta say this congressman but, uh, you know obviously it's classified so you can't discuss what's in it but as we talk about this and as i'm sitting here this it's it, you know the mystery is building up i want to read it now yeah. i can and i can but, also imagine wait, why the saudis wait. want it the why the saudis would want it released because the things i'm imagining in my head can't possibly be borne out by the facts of the thing which now well, sounds incredibly damning but, because i can't see it well, I, well Chris, I think there might be some duplicity on the part of the, the Saudis in terms of them desiring this to be disclosed. You don't think they, they actually do? No. Chris, Congressman, Chris, Congressman Jones. Yes, sir, if I could speak very quickly. It, the people, your listeners and those who follow your show need to fully understand that the chairman of the Joint Congressional Committee of Inquiry on this issue, Richard Shelby and, and, and Senator mm -hmm. Graham, from Florida have yep. been very outspoken to say this needs to be made public. That's right. And, it, and if it implies other countries like the Saudis, so be it. But let the American people know the truth. Well, Let's rebuild the confidence of the American people by let, letting them know the truth of 9-11. I, I think it's a persuasive case, Congressman Walter Jones and Congressman Stephen Lynch. Thank you, gentlemen, both. Thank you, Thank Chris. You, sir. The reporter who has first-hand knowledge of new witnesses in the Michael Brown shooting joins me next.